Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this rapid shutter effect in Premiere Pro. All right, you can see on the timeline, I have got some video clips. Each of these video clips consists of nine frames, maintaining a consistent length throughout. However, the final video clip stands out as it exceeds the standard length, containing more than nine frames. Firstly, move the time indicator to the first clip, and then let's move over to the effects panel to apply some effects. Firstly, I'm going to apply a directional blur effect. Let's drag and drop the directional blur effect onto the first video clip. Next, I'm going to apply another effect. This is a transform effect. Let's drag and drop the transform effect onto the first video clip. And lastly, we need to apply another effect. This is a brightness and contrast effect. Let's drag and drop the brightness and contrast effect onto the first video clip. All right, now let's go over to the effect controls panel to customize all the effects. From the directional blur effect, let's make the direction parameter value around 90 degrees. After that, we have to make the blur length parameter value around 0.3. In the next step, we have to customize the transform effect. Firstly, make sure the time indicator is at the beginning of the first video clip. And then, we need to create keyframes for the position parameter by clicking on the stopwatch icon. After that, let's make the shutter angle parameter value around 100. Now, to adjust the Y position parameter, slowly decrease its value until the video is completely out of view. Keep a close eye on the screen as you make these adjustments, and stop once the video disappears entirely from your line of sight. And then, move the time indicator three frames forward. Now we have to set the Y position parameter value as default. Let's click the reset parameter icon. In the following step, from the brightness and contrast effect, we have to create keyframes for the brightness and contrast parameters by clicking on the stopwatch icon. After that, we have to make the brightness parameter value around 100. And then we have to make the contrast parameter value around 40. Next, move the time indicator three frames forward. Here, we have to make the brightness and the contrast parameter value around zero by clicking on this reset parameter icon. Now we need to select all the effects that have been applied in the first clip. Once selected, we will copy these effects to ensure we have them ready for use. Next, we need to select the rest of the video clips and paste all the copied effects onto them. After that, we need to move the time indicator to the beginning of the last video clip and then move the time indicator six frames forward. Next, let's move the last keyframes of the brightness and contrast parameters to this position. This will create a nice flash after the rapid shutter effect. All right, let's move the time indicator to the beginning of the first video clip. Now we need to move the time indicator three frames forward. Next, I'm going to move the second video clip to the second track on the timeline, and then overlap this with the first one in this position. Again, we need to move the time indicator three frames forward. Next, I'm going to move the third video clip to the third track on the timeline. Repeat this process for each of the video clips. This process will create a nice rapid shutter effect. And finally, we need to incorporate the rapid shutter sound effect to enhance the visual transition. This sound effect will create a more dynamic and attention grabbing experience for the audience. All right, in this way, you can make a rapid shutter effect in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro. 